Apple has come out with a lot of amazing and great products throughout the past 20, 30 years, however long they've been around. And they've come out with a lot of great products, including the, the iPhone, AirPods, iPad, MacBook, etc. You can go on and on and on with the list of great and amazing products that Apple itself has designed or quote unquote stolen from Android. But today we're going to focus on not the great, but the bad, because every company has its flaws, every company has its ups and downs, but today we're going to focus on the flaws of Apple Computer. The main thing I want to take out of this video is show you that even though how much of a successful company Apple has become and will become within the next few years, because they're just constantly elevating and advancing and evolving their company to this thing that they have now, because Apple itself started off in a garage so it wasn't always the best but as they are now they are one of the and if not the most successful tech company out there besides Microsoft and Google. Apple with how much that they evolve and are advancing consistently day to day they have their own flaws as well because they have terrible products and some of them have just came out in the past few years so if, if you know some of these products let me know in the comments down below but if you don't please sit back relax and enjoy the video. The Apple pinning. A lot of y'all don't know this, but Apple actually came up with their own gaming console uh, a few years back called Apple Pinning. But just imagine, a game console nobody wanted, but somehow Apple created and figured everyone would like it just because it was an Apple product. Ooh, it was like the forgotten stepchild that nobody wanted. Hell, even Mario couldn't save this fucking thing. Number nine, the Apple Lisa. Ah, uh, the Apple Lisa. Ah, uh, it was, it was, it was dreadfully expensive. I didn't want to talk about this one this quick. Uh, let's see. It was slow. Uh, the interface was as complicated as a Rubik's Cube. That was just expensive for such a lack of hardware. I get it was early 90s, late 80s. But still, it's named after his daughter and she doesn't even own up to it. The Apple III. It was unreliable. It made Windows Vista look good. How bad has it got to be if Windows Vista looks good? I figured even the ghost of Steve Jobs is going to haunt anybody that tries to use it. That's how bad it is. Apple Maps. I'm sliding back this one quick. Apple Maps is terrible. They just thought it was cool because it was a 3D map. No, that's not what makes a map good. If I wanted to go see something 3D, I'm going to just go there. Shit. Uh, the hockey puck mouse. Whoever thought of a round mouse has got to be sane in the membrane. Because, like... Dude, it doesn't even fit part doesn't fit nicely in the hand. The hand is supposed to be it's like egg-shaped or and yeah, whoever thought of it, uh probably never used a computer before. But hey, you wanna play hockey with a puck? You ain't got a puck, you got a mouse. <sighs> Once again another one. The Newton. It was supposed to be revolutionary the way it took notes, but the way it happened whenever it came out, it was uh with a lot of fails with hand recognition, it just didn't work out that good. It was supposed to revolutionize the way we take notes, but instead it became synonymous with handwriting recognition fails. If you ever wanted to really confuse your device, just write a grocery list for it and it would lose its fucking mind. The Apple G4 Cube. It was sleek. It was stylish. Utterly impractical. Plus it had a tendency to crack like an egg if you even looked at it wrong. It was, it was Apple's version of the Fenberg egg except less valuable. The iPhone 5C failed? Dude, that was a dope-ass phone. I don't even want to talk about this. I like that phone. The Apple USB mouse. We all hate this. We all know this. It's the app. It's the, it's the mouse that has the be at the bottom. That's the way you charge it, but it's terrible because you can't use it while it's charging unless you like to do weird things, unless you do like to do, unless you're like a weird hand person, but yeah. So an actual company came out with um something that could fix that. Some like dude on Instagram. He came out with like a gadget that can fix that. I forget his name, but if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And number one, finally, we've all been waiting for this, we all should know it, and number one, this actually came out, well, it never came out, but it was supposed to, because wireless charge was like very prominent and popular from like 2018 to 2020, so Apple started had their own charging, wanted to create their own charging pads where anywhere you laid something on it, something would charge it, Apple Watch, the pods, the phone, etc. Wherever you would lay it, it would charge, but they couldn't get it correctly because the coils were so close and tight together. It was just a complete fire hazard and was not worth the headache. There are some out there, like some beta testers and like people that worked for Apple at the time. Uh, they probably still have some, but yeah, there's some out there. You could probably buy them on like eBay or something, but it was never 
was never released to the public because it was a complete fire hazard. It was a great idea because they wanted you as the user, us as the user, to have that accessibility to no matter where we placed it, it would charge. But it was just too much of a fire hazard, so that's why that is one of the worst products that Apple has thought of or not released. And there you have it, guys. That's Apple's top 10 worst creations to ever... And like I said, the 5C, it wasn't a bad phone. I actually had the 5C, I had the blue one. It wasn't a bad phone. I don't get why that one was so hated on. I just don't get it. I mean, I guess it was disappointing, but it wasn't that bad. It was kind of, it was just like a cheaper version. Like, which one do you, which one do you guys think uh, deserves the top spot in this list? Uh, leave a comment down below. If you like the video, leave a like. If you want to stay posted and follow me along, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to hit a thousand before the end of the summer. Uh, and turn on that bell so every time I post a video, you'll be notified. So that's it. Peace. Thank you.